Welcome everybody. This is Jan Mendling and Hajo Ayas speaking, and we want to encourage you to submit BPM papers to the BISA journal. So what is the BISA journal? Um, maybe you heard about BISA already. BISA is the abbreviation for Business and Information Systems Engine. It's an internationally scholarly journal, double blind review process, and it publishes scientific research in the area of information systems. And information systems are here in this context understood as socio-technical systems that comprise tasks, people, and information technology. That means BISA focuses on research uh, that bridges across technical and social and managerial issues. BISA has a dedicated business process management department. So that makes it very attractive for BPM papers being submitted. The board of the Dubisa department is made up by experts on BPM. So you can make sure that you get expert feedback from guys who really know BPM and who are interested in your BPM contributions. So why then submit to Bisa particularly? One of the reasons is that Bisa has observed a rising impact in the field, partially thanks to its diligent revenue process. So some of these scientometric uh, figures that you see here may be interesting to you. Some of you may require or may look at the um, statistics here uh, in order to get the best exposure of their research to the research community. And in this, Visa has been very successful in the last couple of years. Other than that, BISA is embracing various types of submissions. So that means your research can be made exactly fit one of the categories of uh, these submission types. There are research articles, there are registered reports, research notes, state of the art reviews, and catwords, as much as we embrace also interviews and discussion contributions. Thirdly, BPM is a very important topic in BISA. In the BPM department, we are also continuously having special issues on dedicated BPM related uh, topics and problems. One of the upcoming special issues is a special issue on the impact that the BPMN standard had on the field. So watch out for the submission deadline, which will be in January 2022. What we would like to explain in the video as well is the review process that we follow, which we want to make transparent and which we are uh, keen of, of maintaining. And it looks a bit less follows. Uh, in this schema, you will see that manuscripts when submitted will be screened by the editor-in-chief and handed over to the department editors, Jan Mendling and myself, when they relate to the BPM uh, department and then further handled by an associate editor who will invoke three reviewers to give your manuscript a thorough review. After the, this review cycle has been finished, uh, there will be a meta review that will be added by the associate uh, editor. And it will again be looked at from the department editor side as well as the editor in chief side um, and potentially then be um, subjected to a revision round. What we aim for at uh, BISA is to keep the number of revision cycles low. We, the, the goal is not to go beyond three cycles. On the one hand, to give the authors a fair chance to improve the quality of the manuscript, but also not to keep them uh, working indefinitely on finally getting a manuscript uh, in. We have a couple of things that we also want to mention, and we want to distinguish between elements that should really be taken care of are in that sense mandatory to be taken care of when you are submitting and preparing your manuscript and things that from our experience will help, um, will help a manuscript to become more successful with regards to acceptance. There are formal aspects. So we encourage everybody to write concisely and keep the text short as possible. Don't use overly complex language. Also to take a, a good look at the match between the manuscript itself and the department that you're going to submit to, to. And we also encourage you to be very open with respect to the history of a uh, manuscript. 
So if it has been rejected before, if it has been submitted elsewhere before, this information will actually help us to improve the assignment of reviewers and also the evaluation of the manuscript. Then there is the content. Um, it is recommended to position your paper with respect to earlier visa uh, publications. But what is really important and sorry, a sort of a non-negotiable is to really derive and motivate your research problem very clearly. This is something that all our reviewers will check. Um, a, a set of research questions is something to build upon uh, for the rest of your paper. The research method is another element that in uh, the BSA history has become a very important element to be evaluated. And we also like you to frame your contribution from both a theoretical and a practical viewpoint. As Jan already explained, our journal is at the crossroads of different disciplines. And we also appreciate both the theoretical and practical angles. Then with respect to the process, if you do happen to have a very specific or narrow topic, um, you may well um, like to consider advising or suggesting an associate editor from our list, which is available on our website, to make sure that there is a proper fit and a proper understanding of your niche topic. And another recommendation we like to make is to check the special issue announcements uh, periodically. Jan already gave an example. Uh, the big advantage of special issues we believe from an author standpoint is that they allow for faster review cycles. How would you get feedback on your planned submission? Well, you can always reach out to us. There is the official homepage that I already referred to. You can find the URL here. There is the publisher's homepage, Springer. And the most straightforward way to get even more information is to be in touch with us, Jan and Hajo. And um, one of the occasions for all of you to engage with us and ask all the things you want to know more on Visa is to meet with us during the BPM conference, which will take place in Rome very soon. And we hope to see you there. Thanks for your interest. And we're really looking forward to handling your manuscript. Thanks. Thanks a lot.